Hey guys! Hi, you guys! <laughs> Welcome back to the workshop. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna call it. It's the gun room. The gun room. The gun area. The gun area. The pew pew area. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Anywho. Welcome back, you guys. So, I bought something. I bought something fun. You have something new. I have something new. It's a Styrog A3M1. I have wanted one forever. And the only reason I've wanted one up to this point is because I thought they were, they looked really, really cool. But let me tell you, the more and the more that I have actually researched into them, I actually really like them. They're really, it is a very interesting rifle. It is a very, very interesting rifle. And I know, I know there are a lot of AUG haters out there because it's a bullpup. Because this or that or that or this or whatever. There are lots of them out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a bullpup guy, typically. You know, and that's fine. To each their own. Yeah. And, and I've said that before. But the more and the more that I've researched, the more and the more that I've held it, the more and the more that I've looked into it, there's a lot of interesting things about it. So, the quick history of it is the gun was actually designed back in the early 70s, and it became the Austrian Army's primary arm in, I think it was signed in 77, somewhere along in there. So it's been around a while, and it's gone through three variants, A1, A2, and A3. The A1, you're probably very familiar with because you've seen it more than once and you just might not have realized it because- It's in a lot of video games. It is in a lot of video games. That's actually more the A2 and the A3s is in the video games, but, our most favorite Christmas movie. Oh, yeah? Die Hard. Yeah. Die yeah. Hard. That is an A1. That's an A1 model. Yeah. That's the most recognized one there is. Yeah. That... And just like he did in there. I know it's empty, but. Yep. Barrel came out and, you know, he slid it in, all that good stuff. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They still do it. So. Done. So. But outside of that. I've got I've, I've, I've got it out of the box, which I bought it out of the box, so I can't do an open box opening. It was already out. <laughs> Fair enough. So we're, and, and I've already got, I, I went ahead and just mounted the, the optics I've gone in. I wanted to go with an LPVO, or at least I thought I did. We're going to find out, you know, here shortly if that's what I really want. The other option I looked at was just a red dot with a magnifier. So I've really liked LPVOs. L LVPOs. Sorry, I had it backwards. Uh, LVPOs. I have one on another AR that I've got, and I like it on there. So, I, again, I think this is what I want on here. One of the other things about this one, which, in all technicality, this was the only one available to buy, except there was a white one, but it's the same. There is a there is a big difference. So, you have a standard AUG, and they've got the weird-looking waffle magazines, but then you have the NATO versions. These use just standard... M4 magazines or whatever AR mags. AR mags. So they use the same mags, which all of them are two, two, three, five, five, six, whatever it is you want to call them. But it's just what mags they take. Now there are a few variances between the two. Like the standard with the AUG mag actually has a bolt release on the side of it instead of having to rechamber it. But they don't have the mag release on the side. Again, it's you know. Six one half a dozen the other. It depends on which way you want to go. I, I really wanted to just have the AR mags because I already have a bunch of them. Lots of them. And the waffle mags. P mag or Magpool even makes a P mag for them, but they're still like $22 a piece. So you're still looking at just having a full set of even 10 of them, you're looking at $220. So that's Yeah. I mean, just to get into a new yeah, just, Rifle. yeah, so, but that said, we're going to go out, we're going to shoot it, and we're going to do a first thoughts, what our thought is on just shooting it, how it shoots, how it feels, all, all the goodies. All right, guys, here we are, out here, ready to shoot, let's see what this thing can do. Not 
neither of us have ever shot one. Just yeah. to preface. Never, never shot it. <laughs> Do it again, though. Do it again, though. <laughs> Nice. Nice. It is slightly high. That's it. I'm aiming at the top of the target. And you're hitting middle to low. Uh -huh. you, you're not at that level yet. No, not quite. Not the one you put in your pocket. Oh, yeah, that one. Force a habit. Yeah, well. Spiffy. It actually throws him quite a ways back. Was ear muffs, I'm, I mean, the gun's great. Ear muffs, not a scope guy. Not a scope guy, yeah. I, I, I fight too much with glasses and ear muffs. We need to get us some of them uh, Walker earbuds. We do. It's on the list. But I like it. The recoil's good. It, it stays flat for the most part. It's also a little, I feel a little awkward just standing up. Oh, yeah, trying to figure it out, yeah. Well, never have shot it. I just feel awkward. Yeah, one of my favorite things is, is the balance of it. I actually really, really like the balance. And, and they're designed this way. I've heard several people talking about them because that's even the uh, Steyr has a class, an AUG class, an operator class. And they were showing bits and pieces of it and they were talking about you know, getting it up and holding it and, you yeah, know, a lot of you your change your mags. In the back. Yeah. Well, they had the guy, you know, he's like, okay, you know, hold, hold this way and shoot it. Okay. Now try, which they had their hand guard on it, but he said, you know, try this and do it. And then he dropped his hand and he goes, okay, now do it. And the guy took two shots holding it with the one hand and hit both, sh both hits. So just the balance of it is a whole lot. Yeah. And, I think also it would have been a little easier had I adjusted the zoom. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, could have been. Is it all the way in or all the way out? It's at one. Yeah. I left it at one. It's like a one dot is basically. A three with it being off just a little bit would have helped. Yeah. But, you know, that's just making excuses of why I didn't hit a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like anytime I shoot freestanding, and I don't have my kit, mm -hmm. I feel awkward. Okay. I, I That's a self-conscious thing, but it shoots great. I like it. It's not gonna win me over to bullpups yet, but I also only shot like 20 rounds. Yeah. So. Well, I'm one on it. This is, I think this is definitely, definitely a gun that I will probably deck out to do the two gun competitions right. and the run and gun and all that. But for me, having been in the army infantry and all that it, it would take a lot to pull to me away from yeah, the ar platform it would and i have one of those two so yeah. i mean right <laughs> but it's fun i like it better than the trevor 
It is. It is better than the Travor. I will I will give it that. It it's is not as fun as the P90. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also a bullpup, yeah. But the P90 has me because I loved Stargate. Yeah. SG1. And, you know, watching Samantha Carter shoot, Carter shoot that. Or Amanda Tapping, whoever you want to call her. But, no, there's a scene where they're giving the gobbled or whatever. Uh, trying to convince them that their staff weapons are inferior. And they got this big log on a rope swinging it. And she cuts the rope from like... 50, 75 <laughs> yards away. I'm like, a chick shooting a gun. Yep, so. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it it's fun. Is the gas block adjustable? It is. Ooh. So, if you take that off and make it, shh, you can adjust it. That's cool. There, there is an option for that, yes. So, oh, yeah, especially with it being piston driven versus gas mm -hmm. all right and i'm sure there will be a shh on it at some point all right i like it too we're gonna get these picked up these picked up out here somewhere and we will be back with more of our thoughts all right there it is that was our first shots and it was not zero the scope was just put on it <laughs> you got lucky i got lucky it's probably no more than three inches high yeah and that's it left to right seemed okay uh later this week i will probably get a target out there and you know see where they're putting zero target yeah a zero target and probably zero it at 100 yards but no one of the one of the thoughts i've i've thought about is or i've gone over is is starting to do some of the two gun competitions they have one uh about an hour and a half south of here is where they have a range that does it so i've kicked around the idea haven't really had a gun to do it other than my pistol i think this one's going to be a good one i think i'm gonna i'm gonna use it i'm also starting to build an ar that will potentially be used for it if not you know use both of them one 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 round, you know, another the other round, or different days, or whatever. Yeah, different shoots. So, but other than that, I mean, for the first time I've ever shot one of those, I honestly really, really like it. Yeah, I, I like the way it shoots. It, it's definitely different. It is. It, it's different than all the other ones that you've got, too. Yes. Like, the trigger's a little stiffer. It is for a bullpup, and that's that's always the biggest complaint I've always heard about bullpups. Oh, the triggers suck because you have to have a trigger linkage and all that other stuff. And where it's not, this one is not the greatest trigger. It's not the worst. It's not. It's definitely not the worst. Uh, and there's a handful of things you can do. There's a uh, aluminum sear that you can put in it that everybody that's done it just swears by the fact that it's so much better. Now it's still not great it's not a you know a timney or a geesel or anything else that you put in the ars you know but it is certainly even better than a stock trigger but if it drops down to being a five pound trigger you know i think it actually drops to a three with that sear in it see that's better than an ar stock okay i think they're four and a half to five pounds Okay. Yeah, I think I think they list them with with the aluminum sear. They're at three to five. So yeah, and and this one's probably seven to eight. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. But yeah, <laughs> my whole thing with the bull pups is getting over that they're weighted typically to the rear, mm -hmm. and with an AR that I'm used to shooting, you have your lights and your lasers and all that from the military, you know, on the front. So you you're accustomed to basically pulling it down and in where this I'm doing that and I'm it just I can feel my no <laughs> I, I'm not shooting over yeah I'm still but I've got that tension oh and I can feel that I'm overworking the gun oh yeah I could see that I could see that but I love the Steyr for the quick release barrel Yes. That, that is the coolest thing ever. It, it really is. Like, you get a stoppage. Like, you shoot a squid. Mm-hmm. 
pop it out and right there you're not trying to pound it back the way it came or anything like that mm -hmm. i mean now if you're super high speed you just got a spare barrel in your back pocket <laughs> yeah. gotcha ah. <laughs> i win yeah. but you know and then the way they have it designed for the with that you know you have a double feed you can yank the barrel like you said and it drops clear yeah that that's nice yeah yeah, that was, and that's one on one of the, you know, the operator deals. That's how you clear it. You get the, you get the double feed that you can't just drop the mag and they fall out. Pull the barrel out, put it back in, and that's it. And it, every time they did it, they dropped out the bottom as soon as they did that. Yeah. So, it, it's a neat, it's a neat deal. I mean, does it make it far superior? No, not really, but it is a neat deal. Yeah, I think if I shot it a lot more. I would like it a lot more, but, you know, again, I've never been a, a bullpup fan. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I like them. They look cool, but after trying to unlearn the combat of arms yeah, or just learn a new one for a new gun, I guess like my other shirt says, I'm a grumpy old vet. I don't want, I don't like change. So. Thanks, stick Casey. With, <laughs> st stick with what you know. You and, know? and it is. It, it is stick with what you know. I mean, I can't say I, I've never been in the military. I've never trained with just one firearm, and a lot of it I'm learning on my own anyway. So I'm kind of starting from zero anyway. So yeah. it doesn't mean it doesn't really matter where I start. Right. So and and I like the concept of bull pups. So we have the Trevor. That was one of the first ones we got. Casey actually likes that one. That technically that's Casey's rifle. You know, and I like the idea of it, and it's it's a decent trigger. I mean, this one is still way better than that one, but even loading it because it still sits even further back than the AUG does. Yeah, the AUG does sit. It sits a little bit further further forward. Yeah, it still sits a little bit further forward, so you still have that little bit of movement, and it's still right in between. Yes, that's a little bit more difficult, but I mean, watching some of these other people speed load these things is phenomenal. It, it can be done. Well, the other thing I like about it is, unlike the Trevor, and you had what, the shotgun? That was a bullpup? Oh, yeah. Okay, both of them, when I tuck mm -hmm. in, you hit the magazine. Th the magazine is right there on my arm. Yeah. Which, depending on, you know, it can force a malfunction. You know? Yeah. That's because true. you're pushing, pushing on pressure it. on it. Just like with an AR, if you're shooting off the magazine, I've seen them, that cause a malfunction. Or just holding it. And... Or, yeah. I, I've seen guys in times that you really don't want one, <laughs> you know, crank on it. You know, they're panicked, you know, whatever. And you can, on cheaper mags. Now, I'm sure. On a good high quality mag, you know, it don't flex as much, whatever. But I do appreciate the fact that when I tuck in with this is what I was getting at. Yeah. That it doesn't, my arm don't rest yeah, on it. Yeah, because again, it sits a little further forward, so it's higher into your wrist yeah. as to where it would be. Yeah. Yeah, and that is that is certainly one of the things to get used to, you know, when trying to either reload it or moving and shooting and all that. But You know, and then the other thing for the pew pew haters out there you know it don't come with that well this one comes with a foregrip it does it does <laughs> but so, it's a 16 inch barrel so it doesn't really matter well even on those they're trying to you know you gotta you can only have so many points oh yeah them yeah. californian people and, and, californian laws and new york and yeah. i don't know you know well we don't live in any of those states no, right we, now we so. still live in a free america <laughs> So, but, but I, I like it. I think a little more or a lot more shooting it and I could see it being higher on my list than, than most bull pups. Yeah. I mean, at, <laughs> at the price point, it's not necessarily one of those that you're just going to jump up, run out and go get. No. Yeah. I mean, I don't know because you ain't told me, but <laughs> I, the only one that I'm dying to have the cash to jump up and run out and get isn't even a bullpup. 
No. I want the MP5K. Yeah. They had one of those there, too. And a briefcase if, you know, I can lay my hands on one. Yeah, well, they had one of the MP5Ks. It was an H&K MP5K. I'm sure they had a real nice sticker shock to that one. Yep. Yep. $3,100. That's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> so, but outside of that, on this one, the only thing... I know I've got a sling to get. I've got a sling. It's going to get to a point over here. There is an extended for the an extended handle for the charge handle. I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to get the the Picatinny rail that goes underneath, but then I have to replace this. But I'll still have one. And then your magazine. Yes. Piece. Yes. The extended magazine. By Curoso Defensio. It's an sure. Italian company that makes I mean, them. Yes. As soon as I can find them. But that's that's my plans for it to start with. I think I do like the LVPO. I'm I'm I think I'm liking it so far. But outside of that, that's where that's going. It's just a matter of money to do it. Just like everything else we do. Just like everything else we do. <laughs> So, but other than that, you got anything else? No. I liked it. It was a good time. It was. It was a good shoot. So, remember, like, subscribe, and share. I know yep. we've rambled on enough on this one, but if you could do that, that would be absolutely greatness. Yes. And we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.